Many people find it extremely hard to pack light, as in your luggage. So today I am going to be talking about why you should be traveling light. Hello and welcome. Many people find it extremely hard to pack light. Me included. I spent years and years and years overpacking and just bringing a ton of stuff. And it's a lot of stuff that you don't need. But you just kind of like, eh, just in case I might need this. Or if I go here, I want a couple options of what to wear. <laughs> so it just becomes more and more. And I'm a toiletry hound and I bring way too much stuff. So I have definitely over the years gotten it down to a fine art of packing small. On my long-term trips, when I was away for 15 months, all I had was a carry-on uh, bag, a roller, bla a, little, a roller bag, and then I also had a backpack that carried my camera gear. So I definitely had it down to a fine art, but it took a long time to figure it out. Now, when I did have everything down to a smaller bag and everything, there were a lot of benefits that came out of it. I'm going to give you my top three of what those benefits are and why you should be packing light. The first one is cost. Now it's going to cost you a lot less money to bring less bags with you. The more bags you bring, the more you're going to be paying in your airport fees. So if you have overweight luggage or if you're bringing more bags than you're allowed, you're going to be charged a lot more money. And it's not only just, you know, say you have a flight from uh, Vancouver to Paris, but you have a stopover in Montreal and, and stuff like that. If you you may have to pay for multiple legs, depending on if you're with the same airline or not. So you want to watch out those add up extremely fast because it's obviously there and back. Now, another thing that you want to be aware of and why it's so much better to pack light is that you are not sweaty and exhausted carrying your bags. Now, I realize you're not carrying your bags all the time, but those travel days, first of all, they're exhausting in itself, but they're more exhausting when you're lugging a ton of luggage, especially if you're not traveling with anyone or if that other person has a lot of luggage too. You have to remember that sometimes you're going by train. You're not necessarily taking a taxi everywhere. You can take a taxi to the train station, but you're still going to have to lug all your luggage onto the train yourself. So you have to remember all those little points that you're going to have to do, especially if you're in places where there's um, pedestrians only. So say you go to Venice and you have all this luggage and you're not taking a boat to where your accommodations are, you are stuck dragging all those bags up and down stairs and over cobblestones until you get to it. You will be extremely grumpy and sweaty when you get to your accommodations. And then at that point, you will be seeing what you can get rid of so you don't have to go through that again. The third reason to pack light is that you are less of a target for thieves. These will definitely take a look at people who have a lot of luggage, especially whether when they're on their travel days, you know, sitting in train stations. They're looking at this because you have a lot to think of. First, you have to figure out where you're going, how you're getting there, what train to catch and all this type of stuff. Now that leaves you distracted. When you're distracted, you don't necessarily have your hand on all of your luggage. If you have multiple pieces of luggage, you can't keep your eye on everything. So if you put down a bag and you have two suitcases, they're going to easily come by, pick up that small bag and walk away. So they're going to be watching out for you to be distracted and sweaty and just annoyed at all the luggage that you're carrying and be able to swoop in and pick up the stuff that you put on the ground. To save yourself from all of that hassle, par down what you are taking with you and be able to just pick up some of the more heavy toiletry stuff on your trip while you're in that city. And also check to where you are staying if they are providing you with toiletries. So shampoo, conditioner, um, all those types of things that can add up to a heavier bag. See if they're going to be supplying that 
for you in your accommodations and then you don't even have to worry about it. So I hope that gives you some inspiration to pack light. Trust me, it will change the way you travel because you'll be so much happier. And if you do end up buying a lot, you can always mail it home. Mail it home so you don't have to lug, around, lug it around with you. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure you download my travel planning guide. It's free to download. All you have to do is click the link that I'm going to put down in the comments and you'll be able to sign up for that straight away and get it into your inbox. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will talk to you in a little while. All right. Bye.